Now children, in this video, we will study Lee Shetley's principle. Maybe you have studied somewhere in your chemistry earlier in any class, uh, but here let's do it in detail. When a reversible reaction, I think it's in 10th also, but it's not taken up detail, in detail there. Uh, one thing children, in the previous reaction, by the way, when I was explaining you the characteristics of uh, chemical equilibrium, I found out towards the end that by mistake, I think it was slip of tongue, I said that uh, uh, it is uh, not dynamic in nature, it is very much dynamic in nature. I have explained all that is clear, but still 1%, I think towards end, I said uh, when I was going to complete that point, that it is not dynamic in nature. That was my mistake, uh, not mistake exactly, slip of tongue, it is actually dynamic in nature, not static in nature. So I just told you, I got the opportunity to, to make the correction here. It was a slip of time. Hope you have understood. All that was clear, but still. Now, Lee Shetley's principle. When a reversible reaction in the state of chemical equilibrium is subjected to change in external factors like temperature, pressure or concentration, then the equilibrium automatically shifts in the direction so as to nullify its effect. Simple children, suppose you are feeling very hot. So you would like to move towards cooler, where there is cold breeze or AC. You would like to be away from heater. If you are feeling cold, you would like to go closer to the heater. It's natural. And you will be away from cooler or AC as uh, per the requirement. So you see here children, Suppose I take example of this reaction N2 plus 3H2. It's a reversible reaction. Gives you 2NH3. And it's exothermic. Gives out heat. Now suppose I am asked. What will be the suitable conditions for the formation of ammonia by this Haber's process? I just wrote the reaction. And they are asked in class 10 also. <clears throat> so what happens first is. Because this reaction. It is throwing heat. Giving out heat. So but natural. Low temperature. First suitable condition. Number two, since I see that this is in, uh, uh, moving, it, it is going with decrease in volume. The reaction is proceeding with a decrease in volume. So P should be increase. When you increase pressure, volume decreases and in turn the concentration increases. In short, I know that uh, it's difficult to understand and then relate. That I can explain when I have... Uh, say uh, Google Meet or somewhere face to face class, live class but here uh, like N2 plus 3H2 so remember children whenever a reaction proceeds with lowering in volume or say lowering in the number of moles of your products the suitable condition is pressure should be increased, may be any reaction if it proceeds with a decrease in the number of moles of uh, reactants or say decrease in the volume uh, of the products here as it is 3 and 1, 4 volume here is 2 volume or say number of moles, you should always increase the pressure. So high pressure and we know from class 10 Haber's process, low temperature and high pressure. Then increase in the concentration of reactants always as I told you rate of any reaction. We have seen law of mass action is directly proportional to the product of the concentrations of the reactants with each concentration term raised to the power equal to its stoichiometric coefficient. So simply increase in the concentration of reactants N2 and H2 or whatever you have etc. And if possible a suitable catalyst should be used. Here we know it is finely divided Rn in the presence of uh, promoter molybdenum. I did not write because I was not concerned with that particular reaction. I gave you example. So if they ask you what will the suitable condition for so and so reaction, they might give you. Suppose they ask you now what will be the suitable condition for the decomposition of <coughs> ammonia. Sorry. Then what happens? I can see this is absorbing it for the backward. So high temperature. Then second, it is. Proceeding with the increase in number of moles. So now it is this. These are the products. So naturally low pressure. Then increase in the concentration of reactants like ammonia. From outside we should arrange. And if possible 
a suitable catalyst can be used provided it is known for every reaction catalysts are not reported so reaction automatically shifts in the direction so as to nullify its effect so when a reversible reaction in the state of equilibrium is subjected to change in external factors like temperature pressure or concentration then the equilibrium automatically shifts in the direction so as to nullify its effect so exothermic if it is uh, giving out heat low temperature if it is proceeding with the uh, in decrease in number of moles of the products or say uh, uh, volume then always increase in pressure and increase in the concentration of reactants and if possible a suitable catalyst something very simple you knew i just revised okay so this is all for today and remember those who have not sent i'm again not telling you the names i will just send the final list and then they cannot question which i might send within a day or two so this is all for today and simple things yet important please keep completing your work on the daily basis and keep revising so this is all for today stay safe stay healthy take care